I find the best jokes that I have are the ones that, that are about things that I used to be really self-conscious or shy about. I was actually brought up Muslim, uh, but I'm not your traditional Muslim chick, you know. Like, you'll never catch me saying anything like, Does this burqa make me look fat? <laughs> I actually never wear my burqa, except on poker night. <laughs> it's weird to remember there was a time in my life where I'd be kind of shy to like to admit what my background was. Being Pakistani in elementary school was never seen as the coolest thing in the world. My dad would always blow my cover. He would come to pick me up, just like, and we'd hear him coming from like blocks away, you know, just blaring the Bollywood top 40, full black. <laughs> My family definitely shaped my sense of humor. I think my dad's more of the joker in my family. I looked the other way. He just thought that I didn't see him. Roll down the window. Sabrina, let's go. Baba's in the car. I'm your father. We've always taken these jokes for what they are. They're jokes, you know. And, uh, you know, we laugh basically with everyone else uh, because they are, some of them are very creative and very funny. What percentage of my set do you think is creative and funny? Probably about 50%. <laughs> Look how liberal he is. I have well, jokes where my vagina talks and he's okay with it. Although I'm not sure it's part of the 50% that he likes. That's right, yeah. I've already discounted 50. <laughs> <laughs> you guys enjoying the, uh, the nice weather? I find everyone in the city is getting nicer with the weather. Everyone's getting happier. I saw a homeless guy reading the other day, and I swear to you, I caught the title of the book, and I swear it said, How to Get Rich Fast. <laughs> like that's his last resort. I felt like telling him, maybe he should take baby steps, you know? Maybe something like, How to Find Shelter Reasonably Quickly. <laughs> Growing up Pakistani, it was kind of hard, uh, just because no one else brought their Borka Barbie to school, you know? Shahinda played by herself. Seriously, why won't you guys come over? I'll show you my ankles. No, I won't. <laughs> my mom used to try and help me. My mom would lie to me, though, when I came to her with problems. My mom, when I got made fun of, used to say to me, Sabrina, they only make fun of you because they're jealous. <laughs> Which I'm an idiot. That went straight to my head. You know, the same people would come up to me the next day at school, make fun of me. Hey, mustache girl! Why don't you go play on the monkey bars, you hairy bitch? <laughs> jealous! <laughs> I bet you don't even have to shave. Turning 20 to my Swiss mom means it's time to talk to me about relationships. You know, turning 20 to my Pakistani grandmother means it's time to sell me to a middle-aged Muslim man. Return for like a goat. I don't get her, even from the guy's standpoint, I don't get arranged marriage. Because the way it works is that one family sees a picture of the other spouse and they make decisions based on that. But even for the guy, you know, like he's seeing a picture of the chick, which is basically that, right? <laughs> and I know the eyes are the window to the soul, but if you're getting married to this person, maybe you want to check out the rest of the house, you know? <laughs> check if the basement's renovated. <laughs> check out the frontage. Make sure you fit in the door. <laughs> I have an uncle that tries to hip it down for me. Like, he, he comes up to me, he's like, Sabrina, you know, you don't understand being arranged marriage. Oh. It's like a Kinder Surprise chocolate, okay? You cannot go into the store, open every Kinder Surprise chocolate. You must buy one, knowing only that it is brown and beautiful. <laughs> that analogy might work for some people, but like for me, sometimes my Kinder Surprises are fun and great, but other times it's like, a bear that's missing an eye and has a creepy smile. <laughs> I don't want that husband. <laughs> I have a guy friend that sleeps around a lot and uh, I'm always like, why do you do it? You know, because it's dangerous. He does it without protection and he's like, he also says the same thing to me. He's like, Sabrina, I think with my cock. <laughs> 
Which is weird, because I can't say I've ever given all my thinking power to my vagina, you know? I've never been like, you take this one. Even if I did in those, like, sexy situations, I think my vagina is more of, like, a defensive vagina, you know? My vagina is more like, yeah, that guy's cute, but will he make us itchy? <laughs> I read in a magazine that 85% of guys in conversation have exaggerated the size of their penis, <laughs> which would be funny if girls were the same way, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, if I walked up to guys at bars and was like, hey, what's up? I'm Sabrina. From here to here, all of it. 